Hi, we're looking at tricky part chala. Here I'll be taking up a few sums and introducing a few methods. Now learn these methods, it'll help you to solve things faster. So we'll take up a few math questions. Normally in such kind of sums, I mean if you try to solve using x, it takes a longer time. You can always approximate if the options are far. So let's look at how to approximate. Now if you look at this approximately 1 upon 4 minus some small value. So I'm just taking it is uh, 1 upon 4, that is 0.25, it will be slightly more than point, uh, around 0.25, let's say. So, the very first option, root of 65 will be 8 point some small value. So, around 0.25. B option is negative, so you can rule it out because minus 7 minus root 65 is negative, rule out. Root 5, remember, approximation. Root 4, we take it as 2. Root 5, we take it as 2.2. Root 6, 2.4. Root 7, 2.6, root 8, 2.8, and root 9 as 3. So root 5, 2.2, 3 into 2.2 is 6.6, 6, you will get 0 0.4. Even this is fine. So this will be minus 0 0.4. So we eliminated two options. But one option we got somewhere slightly more than 0 0.25, one is 0 0.4. Now which of these two can be the answer? Go back. Now if you look at this part, is 1 upon 4, denominator is more than 4. So approximately 0 0.25 you can say. This will be 1 upon 4 minus approximately 0 0.25. Actually, less than 0 0.25 because denominator is more than 4. So, approximately 1 upon 3.75. Now, if you look at 1 upon 3 is 0 0.33. This is bigger than that, but we want smaller than that. Therefore, the answer is A option. 1 upon 3 is 0 0.33. I want 1 upon 3.75. That means less than 0.33. So, 0.25 satisfies. A option is the answer. C option is more than 0.33. So approximation works in these cases and could really be fast if you can actually calculate first. Sum of the roots, product of the roots. Now you can make out that sum of the roots out here if you look at in the first equation is minus 1 plus a upon b, this part. Product of the roots in second part is nothing but b upon a plus 1. You can normally divide and solve that is okay. One more method is trying to put values for the variables. But put values such that all the options will give you different answers. Helps to shorten. So you can put a as 2 and b as 1. Why a as 2 and b as 1? Because all the options give you different answers. Sec so d option will give you minus 2. C option will give you minus 4. D option will give you 2. Substitute. The sum of the roots where put a as 2 and b as 1 is minus 1 plus 2 upon 1, which is minus 3. And product of roots is 1 upon 2 plus 1, which is 1.5. So the division sum upon product is minus 3 upon 1.5, which is minus 2. Only option minus 2 is B option. That's the answer. The idea of taking all the options different values. So once you get the answer, you can directly mark the answer. As I said, you can also directly divide and you will still get the answers minus A upon B. But this is one way of solving. In variables, put some values, simple values and try to get the answer. Again, you can assume out here. Now, how to assume also becomes very important. You have to assume a number which is easy to calculate. So, 1 is 20 km per hour is speed. So, I have to assume distance which is a multiple of 20. It becomes easier because I get a number of hours as integers. Although 37.5 is 18, 12.538, and 12.5 is 18. So, 18 and 38. So, again, it should be a multiple of 8. So, when I do 37.5 percent, I get a proper integer 12.5. So I'll take a distance as 80. Multiple of 20 should be multiple of 8. I'm taking a distance of 80. So 80 kilometers, time taken overall, 80 kilometers at 20 kilometers per hour is 4 hours. This is the overall time. First, 37.5 percent is nothing but 38. 38 of 80 is nothing but 30 kilometers. So time taken is again distance upon speed, right, which is 2 hours. And last 12.5 percent is 1 8. 1 8 of 80 is 10. So time taken for 10 kilometers at 25 kilometers per hour is, if you look at 0 0.4, I mean 0 0.4. So how much time is left? For 4 minus 2 minus 0 0.4, 1.6 hours is left. How much distance is left? 80 minus 30 minus 10, 40 kilometers. So now the speed will be 40 kilometers at 1.6 hours. We'll get the answers 25. 
25 kilometers per hour. Right? For 4 the 16, so 1 upon 4, 25, you can make it out. So answer will be 25. Here again, you can assume values and solve. Everything is in percent case, you can start with 100. Let the cost price be 100. So mark price 100 percent above cost price will be 200. Okay, plus 100 percent. 200. Now you keep on giving plus 20 percent. 20 percent of 200 is 40. 20, 10 percent is 20, 20 percent is 40, 160. Again, 20 percent is 32. Okay, you get 128. Okay, 10 percent is 16, so 20 percent is 32. Here, 10 percent is 12.8. So 20 percent is 20. I mean, if you look at 10%, if you look at is 12.8. Okay. So you'll get 25.6. This will also give 102 point something. And now next, if I give a discount, it becomes below cost price. So I can offer three discounts. 3 times discount, so the loss is not incurred, so 3 is the answer. The moment I give more than 3, if the price will go below 100, loss will be incurred, so 3. Again, this is sort of a common thing in the exam in terms of where you have a pattern. And you have a very large number 40, become difficult to solve. We will take a smallest only first term. Let us look at root of 1 plus 1 upon 1 square is 1. 1 upon 2 square is 4. You will get 9 upon 4 or you will get 3 upon 2. Writing in k minus 1 upon k form, you get 2 minus half. So you can make up when the last term is 2, you get 2 minus half. You get next term also. So first term, if I take root of 1 plus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square, this will be root of 36 is the denominator. The numerator is 36 plus 4 plus 9. Right? This becomes root of 49 upon 36 or you will get 7 upon 6. So if you look at the sum of the board, 3 upon 2 plus 7 upon 6, 13 upon 6, right? 6 upon, uh, sorry, 9 upon 9 plus 10, 16 upon 6. 16 upon 6 if you also look at is nothing but uh, 8 upon 3 or 1 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 3. So when the last term is 3, you get 3. When the last term is 2, you get 2. So when the last term is 40, you will get k as 40. Pattern formation. You look at the smaller cases, try to find the value. It will be same for larger. So you have 1, the last is 2, I get 2 out here, 2 minus half. Last is 3, I get 3 minus 1 by 3. So when it's 40, I will get 40 minus 1 by 40. So k will be 40. Right? Thank you.